What's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Simon Power. So I've got a guest posing video of Sean Flexitron Roden taken yesterday on Saturday. And here we are almost seven weeks out from the Olympia now. So this is a pretty good indicator of the conditioning that Sean's in compared to some of the other guys. I mean, we've seen William Bonac. Um, we saw him do a guest posing last week. We saw Big Rami's posing video a couple days ago. So we have a good idea of a lot of the top six guys, really, how they're looking. And I would like to give a little shout out to the fan that sent me this. His Instagram username is D underscore more. He was actually competing in this show um, that Sean guest posed and he took this video for me. Um, so I wanted to make sure I shouted him out. So my initial thoughts on Sean Roden. Number one, I really like Sean Roden as a bodybuilder. I think he's got a great structure. Um, typically, he has a small waist. Now, 2017 was kind of an exception to that. Um, he did have a little bit of distension in his waist um, that seemed to be problematic for him. Now, based on this guest posing, there's a couple of issues that I think Sean is going to have at the Olympia. Number one, the part of this guest posing that stood out to me the most was the back shots. Now, Sean's main struggle when it comes to Sean versus Phil, even when Sean was second place at the Olympia, um, his main problem was the back shots, the detail in the back, the density, the thickness, and the size of the back. It just wasn't there. And I think that's the main reason why Sean could never beat Phil. Unless Sean brings up that back, I just don't see it happening. Um, and based on this guest posing video, now I know the quality is relatively low. They usually are on these iPhone guest posing videos. Uh, but if you look at the back shots, you can clearly tell regardless of the quality of video. Um, Sean's back, number one, is not really in shape. I mean, you can compare it to what we saw from Big Rami. You can compare it to what we saw from William Bonac. Um, the glutes and the hamstrings are just completely not conditioned at all yet. And with Big Rami, we at least saw that his, his glutes and hams were already having separation, some tie-ins. So I think that's a good indicator if, you know, a 300-plus pound guy like Big Rami is already starting to dial in his glutes and hams. I think a smaller guy like Sean Roden should have already had those things dialed in. So that's the first thing I noticed was the glutes and hams just look really watery um, and maybe not where they're supposed to be at almost seven weeks out. And then of course, in those same back shots, if you look at the upper back and you compare it to Phil Heath. Now, granted, we don't have a guest posing video of Phil Heath to look at, so it wouldn't be a fair comparison, but just looking at any photo of Phil Heath's back compared to what you see from Sean's, it's just a simple matter of the thickness. It's just not there. And like I mentioned earlier, last year he had an issue with his gut. Um, the thing that I'm seeing in a lot of these poses here is that it appears the most watery and least conditioned part of Sean Roden right now is his midsection. I mean, his midsection appears very watery to me. Now, in my prediction video um, for the 2018 Olympia, my early prediction video, I had Sean Roden slipping a few placings. Um, and based on what we're seeing here, I would still keep that prediction. I think Sean Roden could potentially slip out of the top six if he doesn't come correct. And I think that's something that's, you know, certainly looking like a possibility at this point. Um, so let me know what you guys think about how Sean Roden is looking at this guest posing. Again, we're almost seven weeks out right now from the Olympia. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.